Hi guys, welcome to this page of the notes and what we're doing is we're doing indirect measurements using similar triangles and the proportions that we can set up based on those triangles being similar. So here we go, we want Sid who's 72 inches tall and Sid is going to measure the height of a flagpole. Here's my flagpole right here, that flagpole is way too tall and Sid doesn't have a ladder. So, how is Sid going to measure the height of the flagpole? Sid is going to use what he learned in his high school geometry class. Sid already knows, right, thanks to what we just talked about, the angle-angle triangle similarity, right, because of the way that the sun, right, taking these measurements at the same time of day. So, Sid knows that these top angles up here are the same. Sid also knows, right, they're right angles because he took the measurements on level ground, so the angle-angle triangle similarity theorem tells Sid these triangles are similar. So what does Sid do? Sid sets up a proportion. Sid knows that 72 is proportional to 48, and the proportionality in this triangle has to be equal to that same ratio in this triangle because the triangles are similar. H over 128. Solve for H. Work smarter, not harder. You don't need to cross multiply in this case. Please notice that the H is already in the top. Just multiply the 128 to the other side. Here we go. It will be H is equal to 72 over 48 multiplied by 128. Don't fat finger something on your calculator and you get 192 inches. What is the height of the flagpole? 192 inches, which you could easily convert in two feet by simply dividing by 12. Anyway, write the units will match whatever units um, that you were given. So once again, because they are similar triangles, we can set up a triangle proportionality and indirectly measure the height of an object based on those proportions. Let's do another one. In this case, rather than measuring the height of an object that's too tall for us to measure by conventional means, we're going to measure a distance that we cannot measure by conventional means. And here's the scenario I've set up for you. A hiker wants to find the distance across a canyon. Here it is right here. Uh, here's my canyon, my canyon, you know, sort of right here in red. Crazy canyon, there it is right there. Anyway, where's my distance? This guy right here. This distance, X. Why, right? That's the distance I want, the distance across the canyon. So how's the hiker going to calculate that distance? Well, here's what she does. She identifies a landmark at X. There it is, X right there. She then places a marker, Y, directly across the canyon from X. So there they are, there's X, there's Y, right? Two markers straight across from each other. The landmark X on the opposite side of the canyon and then the marker she put on her side of the canyon at Y. She then at Y turns 90 degrees away from X and walks 400 feet in a straight line. So here we go, she's walking, she walks 90 degrees, 400 feet in a straight line, boom. At 400 feet, she places a marker Z. Um, I don't know if you can see it there, there is a Z right there. I apologize for the, actually here, that doesn't work, let me give you. I'll erase it so we can see that. Yeah, there it is. Now you can see that Z in there. So anyway, she walked 400 feet, puts a marker at Z. She then continues walking another 600 feet. It is a hike, so you can expect to do quite a bit of walking. Boom, she walks another 600 feet, puts a marker at W. There, there's W. Once she gets to W, she will then turn 90 degrees. Why is it 90 degrees? Well, remember, in order for the triangles to be similar, I need at least two congruent angles. 90 degrees there, 90 degrees there, that's going to be one congruent angle. I need another one. We'll get it here in just a second. So she's going to turn 90 degrees away from the canyon and she will walk until marker Z, marker Z, 
aligns with marker X. So she walks and walks and walks and walks and walks until boom, she gets to this point right here where line of sight from her position Z lines up with that landmark on the other side of the canyon. So she found the landmark, put a marker Y directly across from it. Walked 400 feet, put marker Z. Walked 600 feet, marker W. Turn 90 degrees, walk to V. How does she know when she gets to point V? Well, point V is the point where, right, she's looking. As she's walking, she's looking at Z. She's waiting until Z lines up with X. At V, Z is lined up with X. So she measures that distance, right? Measures that distance. She places a marker at V uh, at this location and measures WV, which we found to be 327. Now, why? Why? Well, we already talked about the fact 90 degrees, 90 degrees. That's one congruent angle. Where's the other one? Vertical angles, right? These triangles now have vertical angles and we know vertical angles are congruent. So by the angle, angle, triangle similarity theorem, I know these triangles are similar. We're gonna set up a proportion and solve for the part we don't know, the distance across the canyon. Here we go. W, V is proportional to Z, W. So W, V has to be proportional to Z, W. Now, because the triangles are similar, that ratio has to be equal, has to be equal to X, Y divided by Y, Z. Plug in what you know, solve for the part that you don't, the distance. So we're going to have 327 over 600 is equal to, instead of x, y, let's go and call it d because I am measuring a distance, all over 400. Again, work smarter, not harder. You don't need to cross multiply, you just got to get the d by itself. Multiply the 400 to the other side. Let me slide up a little bit so we can see my work here. That means that D is going to be equal to 327 divided by 600. Oh, yikes. I'm sorry. That got ugly fast. 327 divided by 600 all multiplied by 400. Do that, plug it into your calculator, don't fat finger something, and you should get 218 feet. What is 218 feet? The distance across the canyon is 218 feet. A distance, obviously, the hiker cannot measure, which right? has no way of getting across the canyon, but by simply setting up similar triangles and knowing a little bit of high school geometry, she can estimate that distance, right? Head on over to the next page of the notes. We'll try another one of these. I'll meet you guys there.